Chewing on words. Understanding chew on something in English. Hello and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase, chew on something. This expression is a great example of how English often uses physical actions to describe mental processes. Let's dive in and unpack the meaning and usage of this phrase. Initially, let's consider the literal meaning of the words. To chew means to bite and grind with your teeth, usually when eating. It's a physical act that we do every day. However, in English, this physical action is often used metaphorically to describe thinking processes. Understanding this connection between physical and mental actions is key to mastering English idioms and phrases. In its metaphorical sense, chew on something means to think about something deeply or to ponder over an idea. It suggests a mental process similar to the physical act of chewing. Just as we slowly grind food with our teeth, we mentally chew over an idea or problem, considering it carefully and thoroughly. This phrase is commonly used in informal conversations and is especially useful in situations where complex ideas or problems are being discussed. To better understand how to use this phrase, let's look at some examples. 1. After the meeting, I needed some time to chew on the new policy changes. 2. Chew on this idea, the teacher said, presenting a challenging concept to the class. In these examples, chew on something is used to indicate the process of thinking deeply or reflecting on something. It's important to note that this phrase is often used in scenarios requiring careful consideration or deliberation. A common mistake learners make is using this phrase in a literal context, which can lead to confusion. Remember, chew on something is typically used in a metaphorical sense. Avoid using it to refer to the actual act of eating unless you intentionally play on the double meaning for humor or stylistic effect. And that's a wrap on Chew On Something. By understanding and using phrases like this, you can add depth and color to your English communication. We hope this video has given you something interesting to chew on. Stay tuned for more insightful explorations into the English language. Happy learning!